and fetch tools. Today I want to talk about my favourite woodworking tool. You've got to have this in your toolkit if you do any sort of woodworking or you're doing picture framing or you're doing something like this. This can save you a lot of grief. It's just a simple pin nailer. Uh, awesome little tool, cheap as chips and it can make your life so much easier. Check out the video and have a look. Tell me what you think. Hey guys, today I just want to talk about my uh, little pin nailer here. Um, it doesn't look like much, I know that, but uh, it can save you a whole lot of grief. If you're doing fine work around door frames, or you're putting up skirting boards, or you're doing some sort of mouldings around the top of your ceiling, or something like that. Uh, anything woodworking really, where you uh, can't use the old uh, faithful. You can't use the old hammer, because you know you guys know as well as I do, you try and put a little nail in with a hammer, what do you end up doing? You end up splitting the shit out of your wood and you're doing all sorts of horrible, mucky, nasty things. So uh, I bought one of these years and years ago. This is probably six or seven years old now. And um, it's just a cheap thing. It's not even a brand named one. It's just a cheap Chinese one. And um, I use it all sorts for all sorts of bits and pieces. It makes a really good job. It doesn't... So like I was saying guys, this is an 18 gauge nail. Uh, remember the higher you go up in the gauge numbers, the um, the thinner the nail gets. So the lower you are, the thicker, the higher it is, the thinner. So just keep that in mind. So this is uh, a couple of inches long, and you just slide them in like that, down like so, put it up like that, and like that. It's awesome. So go like so. Now. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but this is quite thin. This is probably three quarters of an inch, if you're lucky, half an inch maybe. Yeah, can you see the nail holes in there? You can see the nail holes, but can you see the nail? They're almost invisible. Uh, this is a piece of uh, rough saw and timber, of course. I'll do it like this and I'll show you as well. Go like this. And make sure you don't, you know, cut your finger on the other side. Notice I held my hand down here. I wouldn't recommend doing it like that. But I'll just show you. Now if you guys could see that, could you see that? You could just, there, see the nail in there. Hold on, I'll see if I can zoom it in for you. Oh, we'll have another look. Let it focus a bit. Can you see that? It's, you can just see the nail in there. And they're brilliant, brilliant things. Because he tries putting a, a normal nail in that and it'll just fly to pieces. Um, yeah, I'll give you another, I'll give you another, uh, I'll give you another look at it. So we'll try and make a make a box or something, eh? So we'll go like that. And if we go like so, just the rough idea there so I can show you guys. It's just a rough piece of timber there. But I'll show you what I mean. Like so. Here we have it. See that? It's pretty awesome. I think it's pretty cool. You try doing that with a, with a normal nail, it'll just fly to bloody pieces. So we'll do the same this side. It'd help if the wood was square, wouldn't it? <laughs> so we we'll just hold them up like so, square it up. But I mean, I'm just trying to give you a demo of how easy the thing is to use. Beautiful. Do another one. Remember when you're using the long, the long um, nails, not to hit your hand with it because they uh, really hurt. Yeah, that's pretty good, eh? Well, I think it is. Pretty awesome. Okay, like so. And what it does is it just doesn't split your wood. You know, it just doesn't split your wood. See that? You can just see it there. And if you're on a door frame or something, a little bit of putty and, and Bob's your uncle. And there you go. Awesome, eh? Well, I think it is anyway. And then if you want to put something on the top of it, you can just like so, or maybe imagine that's your door frame or whatever, you know, it's um, it's 
so quick, so easy, and so cheap. Awesome. And you're away. I mean, this is pretty rudimentary sort of sort of building stuff with it, but you get the general idea. Idea for uh, picture framing and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, really good, really. I mean, for the price of them, I wouldn't piss around with a bloody hammer. I mean, it costs you 30 bucks for a decent hammer. You can buy this for 30 bucks. And then also, you don't need a big compressor. You don't need a compressor like this. You can just run it on a um, on a smaller compressor, just the cheaper compressors that you find around the place. And uh, you'll find it'll run no problems at all. But you don't need a constant airflow. All you need is a quick spurt of air to get the thing to go. And then um, you normally have a break one or two seconds before you fire the next one anyway. And it just gives the compressor time to catch up. So all you need really need is a small compressor. So it even saves you money on your uh, size of the compressor that you're going to buy. Right, so I've got a moulding here. See your, your, your moulding? Right, so now if I... You imagine if I try and nail that on there. Well, that's going to do. If I put a nail on there, it's going to split it like there's no tomorrow. We'll try it with this. See that? It's pretty cool, eh? Well, I think it is. Look, it's solid as a rock, and if that's your beading or whatever you're doing on your ceilings or you're doing skirting boards on your floor or whatever you're doing just a slight bit of putty and paint it and you're done and it doesn't split anything that's what I like about it I mean I suffered for years and years and years trying to do this sort of work with the old bloody hammer and it uh, <laughs> all it did was look ugly and it didn't really get me anywhere so uh, yeah so it's just a little little tip for you get yourself one of these I'll put some links down below if you want to buy one you don't, if you're only using it a couple of days a year like I have been They'll last forever, basically, and um, you don't need a brand name one. It's a Chinese one will do. Well, that's what I think, anyway. But that's just my thoughts. Anyway, guys, if you like my videos, subscribe down the bottom. Drop me a, uh, a note in the comments there and tell me if you've ever used one of these little toys before. And, um, and the uh, brads for these things, like they come with the boxes of 5,000. It's the cheapest way to, to buy them. I mean, 5,000, I think it cost me, I don't know, what it was, about $11 or something. Something ridiculous, and it's going to last me for my lifetime, basically. And you get the small boxes as well. Like you can get the uh, those the five thousand box as well, but it's just the smaller the smaller brads um, thing. Doesn't doesn't take a lot really to get five thousand of them. And the advantage of them is that they haven't got a bloody head on them, so they don't damage what you're doing. There's no head on these things at all. See that? There's just enough for the for the gun to pick it up, and that's all. Um, awesome little tools, but don't fire them into your fingers. Trust me, because it really hurts. But um. Yeah, but they're ideal for doing doing small stuff with wood, eh? It's thin wood, thin stuff that's going to split and fly to pieces and drive you crazy when you're trying to do it. Yeah, one of these little things, mate. One of these things, you, would, you won't regret it, trust me. It'll be the best thing you ever buy if you're doing this sort of work. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Remember to subscribe down below. If you like my videos, drop me a note, say hi, and we'll catch you next time.